What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today, I'm going to dish on the uh, hot take of the day that the New York Rangers could and may be considering trading Ryan McDonough, which may be the dumbest thing I think I've ever heard. That you know, it's the definition of cutting off your nose to spite your face. What do I mean by that? Well, here's the thing: McDonough has a, a very good contract. He signed for 4.7 million dollars per season through 2019, so he's got three years left on his deal. He's not going to be a you know free agent next year. And uh, the other thing with McDonough, he's your captain. He's productive. He's I know I know he struggled with injuries down the stretch this year, but very good offensive. I think a good offensive player, but a very 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 good defensive player. And you know, one of the best skaters in the NHL, you know, a guy that, you know, is everything you want in your captain, everything you want in a defenseman for a reasonable contract. How reasonable? He's making eight hundred grand a year less than Brooks Orpic. Brooks Orpic. So, you know, if the Rangers do this, then I you know, I've talked a lot about how, you know, their windows closing and all this shit. But this is this is just obscene that they would even consider showing, you know, your captain the door. And the other thing is you know, you look at it, if they move McDonough, they'll, they can re-sign Keith Yandel. Yeah, that's good and all, but Yandel is also three years older than McDonough, will command more money, and doesn't do the things that McDonough does, you know, defensively. And, you know, obviously Yandel's a very good offensive player, but re-signing him and then moving, and again, you'll get some good assets back from McDonough. Don't don't get me wrong for one friggin' second, but moving him is counterproductive to what this Rangers team should be doing. He's still only 26 years old. He won't be till be 27 this summer. <coughs> but you know, I know that the window's closed in between Hank and you know some of the older guys, but you know, having him Kreider if they can re-sign him, step on, you know, all the 25 to 30 year olds. Those are the guys you want. You know, Nash isn't getting any younger, and, you know, maybe a move Brassad, maybe a move Zuccarello, you know, you, you try to get some help down the middle, but this is just ridiculous, the fact that they would even entertain the notion of moving McDonough, and, you know, my it's always like the, you know, the saying, if you want to get good players, you got to trade good players. Trading Ryan McDonough would be the worst decision this team has made since, you know, signing Scott Gomez, which in turn caught the McDonough, so maybe that kind of equals out. Maybe Wade Redden's contract, maybe, you know, passing on all those really good players for Hugh Jessamine in the 20, 2003 draft. So, I mean, there's enough really, really shitty Rangers moves I can dish on, but the, they trade McDonald. It's, it's the definition of cutting off your nose to spite your face. So, again, I don't see the move happening, but if they were to move him, I would love my hometown Boston Bruins to be in on him. You know, again, I think there's 29 teams in hockey that we bang it on the door to get a 27-year-old defenseman that's played in the Stanley Cup final, played on a U.S. Olympic team, and has signed through 2019 for less than five million dollars. Uh, I again, I, I think there'd be a little bit of interest, but we shall see. Anyway, uh, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season, the playoffs, and beyond. Later, guys.